Yo, what's up, Club Culture family? My name is T. And if you are on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. And if you are on your favorite streaming platform, thank you for tuning in. Uh, here we are, all alone, by myself for the first time, right? Well, it's for a reason. <laughs> Uh, this here is something new that I want to do. It's called Talks with T, right? Talks with T is like the Finsta for club culture. So if you don't know what Finsta is, that's like the the uh, the rated R version of your Instagram. <clears throat> so you got two Instagrams. You got the one that's real public. Your bosses, can, coworkers can find you on it. And you ain't going to be tripping. They 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 can check tune you tune into you on that, but your finsters where they can't find you on that one because you do more more rated R stuff that your boss can't know about. So that's what I'm gonna say. Talks with T is for club culture. <laughs> uh, I'm basically gonna be here just to get y'all to learn a little bit more about me, the creator of club culture. I started this podcast for uh, uh an array of reasons one of the reasons is why is because i kind of wanted an outlet to like um release the tension that that's in my head sometimes like I, i'm an overthinker an extreme overthinker and sometimes my thoughts can become very overwhelming and when covid had hit like the first wave I, we was locked in the house and I had so much shit that I wanted to talk about because we had nothing but time to like research, learn, do new things, pick up new skills. So I'm like, damn, I'm into podcasts and I think this would be great for me. Like so many people think I'm smart and they think I have cool ideas and I'm un unorthodox. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, well, shit, I'm not finna write paragraphs on social media all the time, nigga, let's talk. And so, you know, that's where the podcast came. It's more so like therapy. Th this podcast is really therapy for me, to be honest. I actually started counseling <laughs> because I really needed somebody to talk to. <clears throat> so, yeah, man, this uh, Talks with T is really y'all just getting to know me a bit more on a personal level. Uh, you get the deets, the updates on what to expect on the pod here. And shit, sometimes I might go live, my stream, and we all can chat, read comments, do all of that together with Talks with Tees. It's not going to be a long out episode like the ones that drop on Friday, because it's just me. And I don't really want to talk to y'all that much now. <laughs> uh, something that I found fucking hilarious is um, the the idea that I can post anything on social media and as long as I can get a couple people to believe in it and share it and it reaches a wider audience that can become truth to a lot of people. So like I had saw something on social media that said the Mississippi river has been completely drained. Somebody was like some y'all so worried about it. yay when the Mississippi river is completely drained <laughs> and I was cracking my ass up. Because I was seeing people share it. And I'm like, why are y'all believing this when you can just do a Google search? <laughs> and I'm like, as people can really say things on the internet with so much conviction. And as long as they have that conviction behind what they're saying, somebody will share it, believe it, write long as post about it. See, I told y'all, y'all be blind. Sheeps. <laughs> you ain't woke. <laughs> and y'all will eat this shit up like it's like the truth and never did a lick of research to see if you're making an ass out of yourself. I thought that was a hilarious. And so I made a game. I made a game about that called Weirder and All. <laughs> I made Weirder and All because of the same thing that I see happen every day. Facebook even tell you before you share some shit like, hey, you sure you want to share it? You didn't open the link up to read the article first. And motherfuckers still share it. Like, yeah, nigga, fuck all that. <laughs> let, 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 me, let me get this off because it's, it's the truth. I, I believe it. <laughs> That cracks me up when I actually go fact check something and it is not the truth. It is not real. <laughs> but I done seen like 50 people, long ass shares. I'm also, yeah, da, 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 da. it's the truth. Y'all stupid. Da, da, da. First of all, and I saw some, I saw some on social media that said like, 
You see what got social media messed up today is because they used to have us in honors class. And all of y'all, y'all was in other classes. Y'all wasn't with the smart kids. <laughs> and I'm like, damn near. <laughs> damn near. <laughs> damn near. Everybody has a platform to say whatever the hell they want. And they don't have somebody grading their papers to tell them, why. Wow, I don't know, nigga, you're not right. <laughs> you're not right. <laughs> And so everybody just think they Martin Luther King on this fucking platform because nobody can check you. Your teacher giving you an F is not the same as me saying underneath your post, hey, dude, this ain't right. Well, get from one of my posts. Nobody told you to comment. <laughs> Nigga, what? <laughs> Stupid as hell, but okay. Man, that's why I don't do, I don't, I don't comment. I don't do too much on social media anymore. I really only go in there for laughs. If I post anything that's more than five sentences, it, it needed to be said. I don't know why I did that, but I told myself I would stop. <laughs> but yeah, man, that, this is, this is talks with T. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, something, something to look forward to on the pod. Uh, so I am looking for videographers. I am looking for creative strategists. I am looking for more street interviewers in multiple cities, major cities. So I have someone stationed in New York. We got somebody in LA and now we got somebody in LA and to be a street interviewer. All I do is I send you a mic for your phone and you just go out into the streets and you ask questions that I give you and you get those questions asked by people in the streets. So you just ask random people and answer your, ask, answer your questions. You send me the audio, the video and I post it on our social media and then boom, that's your street interview. And so that's something that you could, you could do if you don't, if you ain't got like the best of skills to do creative things, but I need a videographer to be here with me in the Northwest Indiana, Chicagoland area. I def I definitely need a videographer before anything else. And I would love to have a, a, a creative strategist or a moderator. Now, you might fit the bill for anybody else. But for me, I'm very picky. Okay, I need for you to, you ain't got to be God level at what you do. I just need for you to be teachable. And still have some basic skills Like I will hope you know What are the softwares to use I will hope to have seen Something from you so that I can go, uh, Assess What level you may be at To where I can figure out How much I can trust you To touch my baby Okay this podcast is my baby I shoot, edit uh, Post, manage Creative, direct Everything that happens with club culture OK, all of this equipment is mine. I buy it. This is all out of my bank account. So if I'm going to have you help me out with my passion project, you got to be you got to not fuck it up, bro. <laughs> not fuck it up. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, it's me. It's me to have to put my face out on this. This is my project. So I would love for the same person that comes into helping this. Well, I should want to help it with the same passion that I have for it, or at least some type of passion and care. So, yeah, man, I, I'm looking for maybe more people to help. And then uh, while I'm looking for people to help, that's not going to stop what uh, the plans that I have uh, for moving forward for, for the pie. So I've introduced you all to Andre. And you, this is supposed to drop before Friday. And so the episode that drops this Friday is episode 17. And that is with, um, Shania. Shania will be a second revolving face on the podcast. So shout out to Shania and Andre. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. I hope y'all en will enjoy both of these two. I've been seeing good things about Andre. Uh, and so, yeah, that's kind of what I want to do with the pod now. Uh, I don't know if I want to do like a main co-host, somebody that's going to keep being on the pod like Lizzie was just yet. Cause I don't want people to be attached to the people on the pod. I want you to be attached to this, the commentary, what happens on the pod. Cause what happens on the pod is much more important and purposeful than the people I have on there. Because I think everybody has a purpose and what you say out of your mouth is what the purpose is. The things you say to people is what really can change a life. <clears throat> so this 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 pod, I want it to be life changing. Okay, <laughs> I want the I want you to hear something that happens on this pod, and you like, damn, 
that brought that that got me through or that helped that changed my perspective and helped me do this instead of dang what happened on that part that fucked me up you you or I ain't like so and so on there why you bring that person on there that person I want to beat him up like I don't, I don't want none of that you feel me it's always about what is said on the pod and not who's on the pod because who's on the pod plays into the message so yeah more faces will be on the pod. Different messages will be on the pod. Different sceneries will happen. I'm think I have ID I have scenery ideas. I don't know if it's gonna happen because it's getting colder outside, but it will be there. Um I'm definitely thinking about doing like new intros, getting some photo shoots done. <clears throat> uh we got new mics. Definitely let me know how y'all feeling these new mics. Uh, I think that these mics allow people to be more casual. You feel me? Lay lay back in a chair like this, get comfortable instead of having it stuck in your face the whole time, and you're blocking your face all the time because you gotta angle it. Like, yeah, that's why I got these mics for that reason. So hopefully the quality is there, like the uh, past mics are. Uh, might whip them out sometimes. I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm trying to, I'm working on new camera. So this camera that I'm using now, this is my camera for standalone things until I get the lens and I need to get wider shots. But for, but for now, this is just for the talks with T's. Uh, but I'm looking for another camera so that we can get the same quality onto the guest episodes. You feel me? We got to, we got to polish everything around the board. But that come out of my bank account, so hold on with me, okay? Just stay on this journey. <laughs> uh, what else? What else? Yeah, more street interviews are definitely coming. I'm going to get back more consistent on the social media. I kind of took a break so that I could figure out this pivot after uh, after having to change the directory of the show. But we here, and it's only going to get better, all right? Now... Here is something that I personally will be bringing to Talks for Teas. More stories about tea. <laughs> you get to talk to me a little bit more. Uh, what's something I've been wanting to talk about? Uh, you know, I, I've been seeing a pattern on the pod. I've been seeing myself talk about upbringing a lot, adulting, parenting a lot on the pod. And I think I've been doing it because... I'm actively healing myself at the moment, right? I've been on this healing journey for about two years. I'll say almost two years now. I started counseling uh, a, a year ago, and I just started it back up um, like a week or two ago. <laughs> and so I've been doing it because of this transition that I, sorry, that I am partaking in with adulthood. Got my first big girl job, well, kind of second big girl job. Do everything in life by myself. But like people say, I do, I, I, I went through life all by myself. I really, ever, ever since I went to college, like I've really been doing a lot <laughs> by my lonely. <clears throat> and you got those hand, helping hands here and there, but really getting shit shaking. That came from me, all right? And so it's so much that goes into trying to be the best that you have never seen happen. Like, I've never seen somebody put in all this work that I put in. And so I'm just trying to be that example so that I can show people that come after me what it looks like to really work hard. <clears throat> I, um, <clears throat> I, I really have all these passions, these projects, I do music, I do graphic design, I do graphic design for other businesses and other brands. Like I, this podcast is just another, another endeavor that I didn't slapped on myself of responsibilities <sighs> and I get tired. Okay. <laughs> so, and so I really started counseling so that I can help myself stay ba balanced, get some more discipline. I, after I stopped playing basketball, stopped trying to, you know, have hoop dreams I kind of lost some discipline with myself, and so counseling is just another step to, for me to get back to that discipline that I that basketball instilled in me. Um, another uh, reason for why I started counseling is because I need to heal 
from my upbringing. <laughs> I think that's everybody's issue, but specifically myself. Hey, that was my bunnies. <laughs> specifically for myself, I need to heal my inner child. I was a, a mute growing up. Like I didn't talk. Uh, my, my, uh, my, my family, they had this story that they was all sitting down around the TV and a Luna commercial came on. And then, you know, the jingle, seven, seven, three, two, oh, two, ch, 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 Luna. <laughs> they said they had heard somebody singing that shit when they came on the TV and they turned around. They're like, who is that? And it was my little weird ass singing. And it was like, she can talk? What? <laughs> I guess I didn't talk. <laughs> and I probably didn't talk for a reason. You motherfuckers are crazy. All right. But I still in the same. I, I'm very talkative now when I trust and com am comfortable around you. But for the most part, I keep, I keep a lot to myself um, because a lot of people just, I don't think a lot of people understand what I need to say sometimes. So I would rather not waste my breath. And it's also more, it's also more purpose with listening than talking. Like you, you have two ears for a reason and one mouth for a, a, a even more of a reason. So it's better to listen more than and to talk less. Because when you talk, you're only repeating what you already know. So when you're listening, you're gathering information to prepare the words that you now speak to somebody that might need what you just listened to, you know. And so listening is also retaining information. And so I feel like I'm this big ball of wisdom at such a young age because I was quiet. <laughs> and I stayed quiet and I just soaked up all the shit that was going on in life. And now that I'm older and I am going through adult situations and experiences, I need some type of uh, coping mechanism from the stuff that pops up in my heart sometimes and my emotions <clears throat> because I never was able to express or talked about it as it was happening in real time when I was younger. Two, both of my parents, I don't have the most best relationship with them. I don't have any relationship with my father, and I have a, a pretty rocky relationship with my mother. It might not seem like it because I always got a lot of jokes and shit to say, but it's the truth. And, you know, <laughs> yeah, I got to deal with it. Uh, we could, we could dive into why I don't have the best relationship with both of them later. But just for this first take with Talks with T's, we'll keep it at that because we're just talking about me right now. <laughs> Uh, I and like you know, I'm I'm learning now that as I'm getting older. Like, damn, I was I, I I I yelled at you because of what happened when I was younger, and they used to yell at me like that. Shit, I need to heal from that. <laughs> so that's been a lot of that has been a lot of occurrences. And now that I'm in this transition into adulthood, that's been a lot of epiphanies and shit. And so, you know, I'm in counseling so I can just get through all of that, get it out of my system, find all my relevations, really get to know a bit more, speak more, uh, speak on things that I've never spoken, spoken on. And, you know, that's where I'm at with it now. I got a podcast <laughs> so I can speak more. <laughs> yeah. I'm on this. This podcast is also not just for me. This is to also allow people to come on. And speak more because they've probably been listening more and now it's their time to speak. So if you enjoy this introduction to Talks with T, don't let it stop you here. Keep coming back because it's only going to get more personal, more elaborate. This was just, all right, niggas, let me tell y'all what I, what this is going to be. Let me tell you what I got going on. <laughs> But thank you for tuning in. I'm going to try to always get it around 20 minutes. And tune in to the episode that's dropping this Friday. F episodes drop every Friday in the morning if you do not know. You can watch it on YouTube or you can go on any streaming platform. S Samsung P uh, Podcast, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, uh, Google uh, Podcasts, uh, and iHeartRadio. Uh, Pandora, Pandora, shout out to y'all. Y'all uh, got us over a thousand streams on uh, episode twelve. So shout out to Pandora and everybody that tuned us tuned uh, into the pod. 
for that episode 12 make sure you binge all the other episodes and catch up all right but yeah man thank you thank you and keep supporting peace just watch the damn podcast